warrior out of you? Every man you fight dies. You are so fucked, Jason. So, I've just been privy to the uh, Far Cry 3 E3 experience. We got to see a little bit more of what Jason is going through on the island. Could you just give us a brief talk through what, what's going on with this, what you're showing here at E3? Uh, Jason um, went on vacation to Southeast Asia with his friends, and they're, they're in their mid-20s, and they're there having fun. And then um, they end up being lured into a, a situation where they're kidnapped by pirates. And Jason escapes, and he has to uh, save his friends. And to do that, he has to become a warrior. And so in the E3 demo, you're seeing a, a Jason's been on the island for a, a little while, and he's uh, he's uh, transformed. You know, uh, before he was his twenty something on vacation, and now he's um, in the process of becoming a warrior, and he's going on the offensive against the people who took his friends. Uh, so that's what you're seeing in the E3 demo. But then there's also a lot of hints of all the other uh, kind of secrets of the island and the character. Uh, secrets so you know there's there's a backstory to Voss there's backstory to Jason and there, there's a lot of other hints about what's going on with other characters in the game I think well, one of the the main characters that we saw in the demo was was the girl that that Jason is hooking up with and who's introducing him to the, to the warrior life or like becoming a warrior can you tell us a little bit about her um, her name is Citra and uh, the people that she's a part of are um, called the Rakiat which means the people and so uh, it's a it's a tribe on this a lost tribe on this island, and uh, she's helping Jason, and he's working with her to uh, gather the skills to become a warrior. But um, that relationship is uh, going to um, evolve and change and go in uh, unexpected ways. And so it, it was fun to play with this idea. You know, he's he's a uh, in his mid twenties. He's from Los Angeles, and so the island is kind of uh, it plays with his fantasies. Mm -hmm. And so there's a situation that he thinks he understands with this tribe that he, think he thinks he understands, and uh, the player understands this relationship, um, and all of those expectations will be dashed when you actually play the game. Because <laughs> there's a lot of secrets. I think, I think this was one of the things where I watched this demo, I'm like, oh, this is the major twist of the story, or this is like a major turning point where you sort of understand that what's going on is maybe something is in your mind as well, and, and sort of that thing. But you told me that this is just one of several twists. Could you, could you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, I mean, it's great when you have a, a teaser of something, or like the, the demo is a teaser in my mind of what's going on in the overall story, because it's like a drop in the bucket. Um, there are all these twists and turns. When I write, I treat it like a, a season of a TV series. And so you could think, you know, that this is one of several twists and turns, and you don't even get the twist in the demo. And so um, it's just a pleasure to be able to show something that's just the tip of the iceberg. Because, um, you know, a, a lot of times, um, if you're showing something that's that's got all the funny bits in it or got all the excitement in it as, a, as the, the trailer, then the game itself will disappoint. And in this case, it's like, oh, wait till you see the real thing. There's so much going on here, so I'm, I'm really proud of the demo, and um, I think it, it's a good starting off point to show you the depth that's possible in Far Cry 3. So, so do you do sort of, because, uh, you know, the last part of the demo here where you see the, the TV screens and you, you talk to Voss and you get sort of a hints as to sort of characters switching between one and the other and, and sort of... Is it like it hints a little bit at, at the sort of internal conf conflict that's in, in Jason that I'm sure we'll explore in the game. Um, that's something that's almost like I, I think I think people are going to react to it, say like, isn't this too much information? Am I not supposed to realize these things at the end? But, you know, this is all uh, part of the experience. I mean, everything building up to the release of the game. Um, you know, I looked at all of it and, and approved it, and it was worked on by our team. And so the, the whole, uh, it's a journey, including everything up to the release. And so what we're showing you is supposed to feel a certain way. And then when you play the game, your expectations from the demo might be uh, challenged. And so I like that because it's, it's putting the player into a space of, um, okay, there's something mysterious going on here. Um, there's psychological things going on. Um, there's, there's more to the characters. But at the same time, uh, we, you don't know what. And, and you know, when the player watches something that's mysterious, there's constantly ideas going on about trying to piece together what's happening. And so uh, 
I like that because I think um, when you play the actual game, what's happening is not telegraphed in the demo. Mm -hmm. So there's, I don't think people will guess. Because mm -hmm. there, there are different ways of telling a story. One way is to tell a story and say, sort of give the, the player and the, or the reader or, or the, the viewer the answers. Another one is just to sort of let them sort of think for themselves. Yes, provide them with a, a, a an so, sort of ideas that they can explore themselves and see what they what they choose to think and, and feel about it. What, what kind of approach do you take on that? That's I exactly the approach that I take to really give players an opportunity to figure it out themselves. I don't want to create baby food. You know, this isn't like, oh, this is what's going on. Here's the message of this game. Here's, here's the secret. It's clearly this. No. I mean, a game is about play. And uh, for me, story is also a game. You know, that you're, you're playing with... Uh, what's going on in, in the player's head because the player's putting together this stuff and the game is the player puts this together and then when the player's surprised then the player reconfigures everything in their head and tries to figure out again what's going on and that's fun and so for me story and gameplay is the same thing and you have to you have to play the game if you're just if you just show players oh this is what's happening then it's not a game anymore and so uh story for me is about surprise and about uh constantly um, trying to understand what's going on in front of you. So we're actually the first team that gets to see this at, e at E3, I suppose, but, but are you looking forward to showing more people this, this part of the, of the story and to sort of see the, gauge the reactions and see what's, what, what they feel about it? Oh yeah, I love watching people's faces when they play. I love uh, how they kind of try to process everything once they've seen the demo. Um, it's exciting, it's, that's the fun, like you love going, uh, personally, I love going, um, I love taking a game in my hands and entering a world and being constantly surprised by that world. I mean, that, that, uh, that's art for me and it's um, escapism and it's uh, joy. So the joy of trying to figure out someone else's head and, or uh, figure out a puzzle or figure out a situation that doesn't make sense, um, for me, that's life. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Cool. But you are, you are. Surprise, motherfucker. You didn't think. I knew you were coming, right?